All right, so while I have my calculator out, I've been making a lot of videos, uh, but here's a way that you can do some cool little math properties to uh, to impress some of your friends, or at least just uh, if you're bored sitting in front of a calculator. So what we can do is we can take numbers like 11 times 11, 1, 1 times 1, 1, and we get 121. It goes up from 1, goes to 2, then goes back to down to 1. What if we did three ones? 1, 1, 1 times 1, 1, 1, we get 1, 2, 3, 2, 1. All right, what if we were to go even further? 1, 1, 1, 1 times 1, 1, 1, 1. So sets of 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 2, 1. And this property keeps on going. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I hope I don't get an exponent. Uh, nope, I get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So the rule going on here is pretty much you take the number of 1s that you have. All right, so uh, the number of 1s. All right, and that number, we'll say it equals n, all right, will give us a product where it's n in the middle, and then on the left side, it goes n minus 1, n minus 1, and then to the left and right of that, n minus 2, n minus 2, n minus 3, n minus 3, etc., 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 until the n minus whatever place they keep going on, n minus 4, n minus 5, n minus 6, etc., etc., trail all the way down to 0. So, for example, in this case, if n is 3, we get, all right, n minus 3. So, 3 minus 3 is 0. We ignore that. All right, 3 minus 2 gives us 1. 3 minus 1 gives us 2. Then on here, we get a 3 for the n. And then we get a 2, going back down the pattern, and then we get a 1. All right, and we take a look at that. We can already confirm it, but we'll do it again. 1, 1, 1 times 1, 1, 1. 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, which is right here. All right, so 4 should give us 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 2, 1. 5 gives us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And if we even have something like 9, we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 as our numbers. So it's a really, really cool trick. It's an interesting property of the ones. But if we want to take a look at it, we can actually see where the pattern emerges. All right. So, for example, use 11 times 11. All right. That gives us 121. But why? 1 times 1 gives us 11, 1 times 1 gives us 10. All right, so if we were to actually break this down, we get 11, and then we get 11 down here, because the 1 times 1, 1 times 1. These two add up to 121. All right, let's do something a little more complicated. 1, 1, 1, 1 times 1, 1, 1, 1. All right, multiply. The first row, we get 1, 1, 1, 1, because it's 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1. And then we do the next one. 1, 1, 1, 1. All right, we're shifted over a little bit. All right, the third one, same thing. We shift over, 1, 1, 1, 1. And then the fourth one, 1, 1, 1, 1. We start adding it up. It's 1. These add up to 2. These add up to 3. These add up to 4. These add up to 3. These add up to 2. And then we have 1 at the bottom. 